This is a follow-up tutorial to yesterday's on tune shading in Second Life. Yesterday we covered doing a sphere or a regular prim object. Uh, I stated in that that we could do this with many other objects in Second Life such as sculpties. And after a little bit of thought I kind of figured this might be a little more difficult for some people to figure out the concept of considering you only have one texture on a sculpt map when you're doing sculpties you can't hollow them out. So this is a quick tutorial on how to do it with a sculpt map. So I grabbed a mushroom out of my store real quick, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter edit mode. I'm going to hold shift and drag out a copy, and I'm going to take my upper copy. This is going to be my cell shading. So we're going to enlarge it a little bit. And then we're going to place this in the exact same position this is. If we look at our position here, this one's at 3101 on the Z, so we're going to go to 3101 here. Then we're going to change our texture under our texture tabs to blank. And I'm going to change my color to black. This is going to be my cell shade. And the last step on this is pretty easy. This is actually easier than the other one, I believe. So you're going to go to the object tab and select inside out for your sculpt map. Now if you close this out, you'll see we have a tuned cell shaded mushroom. Now if you want to change how thick your black outline is, select your outside one, and then I'm going to change the size down a little bit. Now we have a little bit thinner lay around, or if we wanted to thicken it, we just go the opposite direction. I hope this clears up on how to do this with sculpt maps and helps people out. Happy building and have fun.